Hello guys, welcome to Chili Philly. Today I am here to show you how to make a door opening or door closing animation. As you can see on your screen that there is a door that is uh, there is a nice animation effect of uh, closing or opening of the door. Okay, you can see on your screen. Now I will show you how to make this kind of animation in HTML and CSS. I am not going to use any kind of JavaScript code for it. Okay, here I'm. I have the basic HTML skeleton, and I'm giving it the title of door, and I'm linking the styles it to the HTML, and I have to reference it by its name, and that is door.css. Okay, now I'm closing this. Now in the body tag. I have to write the source for the image. You can download the the images for door from Google, whatever you like. Okay. Now I have the source of the door. That is, um, I'm gonna find it out right now. And this is a door. And this properties. And this is the core. And dot png okay now the closing of that div tag okay i'm going to save this and i'm going to open this in the browser and you can see this oh i'm sorry uh, there is nothing in the css now i'm going to open okay you can see a door okay now i'm going to write in the css file for the body tag I am going to give it the background color of 1c, 1c, 1c it is a hex color ok now after the body I am focusing on the image tag and now I think I should give the image some id ok and giving it the ID of door. Okay. Now for the ID door, I'm giving giving the margin from the top of hundred pixels, and the margin from the left is I'm going to give six hundred pixels. This will center down our door. Okay. Now I'm going to show you. One second, please. Mm. Okay, one second. Now inside div. And closing it. Okay, and saving it and opening in the browser. Okay, so you can see. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to give the transform property now the transform property here we want to perspective we want a perspective now what is perspective I will tell you what is the perspective later and I want it at the first I want to rotate is zero degree okay now I want to tell you what is perspective. Okay, now perspective is a property of the transform. Okay, a perspective is the angle of view. Okay, the more the value of the perspective, more far you are. Okay, you can understand. Suppose uh, you are going in a train and there is a building rotating. Just imagine a building is rotating and if you are very closer to that building you can't feel that the building is ro rotating okay and if you are more and more far from the building you can also don't see the building is rotating but at the point which is not much more closer than the building and not so far from the building at that point you can see 
the building is completely rotating okay now for this perspective property is used for that kind of situations okay now it could not be very low okay so now i'm giving the animation of uh, open or door close okay you can give any name it will last for three seconds and the animation timing function is linear okay now for the keyframes i'm going to write for the animation open at zero percent i want to write transform property and i want to give the perspective to 300 pixels i will not change the perspective here or in this file and i want to rotate the y axis to 80 degree okay that will make our door open to 80 degree now i'm copying this four more times now for 25 percent of the animation the perspective will be 300 pixels and the door will come to its main position now at 50 percent of the animation perspective is 300 pixels and rotation of the y axis is going to be 20 degree and now at 75 percent perspective is 300 and rotation of y is 0 and at 100 percent we want the perspective 300 and rotation of y to 0 degree or its main position okay now i'm going to save it yeah i want i also have to give one more property that is the animation or the transform origin transform origin it will be 0 percent from x axis and 0 percent from y axis okay now i'm going to open this and i'm going to open in the browser okay there is some mistake that i'm going to find out and that is the mistake what is the mistake Okay, I think I should not give the ID to the image. I can just give right image here. Okay, and I'm going to open. No, that doesn't work. The CSS file is all right. It is all right. Transform is okay perspective is okay now what is wrong with this okay now i find the mistake here is the spelling mistake of rotate it will be rotate y i have given it row red okay now i'm going to correct it and now it's okay I'm going to save it and open the browser. Okay, now we can see a nice animation effect for the opening and closing of the door. Or you can say when someone opens our door and we force him to close our door, <laughs> you can understand it. Okay, now if we want to last it for infinite time we can just write infinite here and it will be for infinite time it won't stop after one rotation maybe you can see this now it is started rotating or, or opening more okay now I'm going to show you what is the importance of the transform origin why we have written the transform origin here if we don't write the transform origin, then what happens? Now let's see. I'm opening the browser. Okay, you can see this. 
the transform origin is the origin of the transformation the by default value of the transformation is 50% and from x axis and 50% from y axis okay now if we write 100% then the door will open from the right hand you can see in the browser okay you can see this the door is opening from the right hand side okay so here we have to set it 0% and 0% okay so that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe to this channel and please like this video and i will see you guys in the very next video thank you for watching this video